Welcome to Mackenzie Creek, part of the McLeod River system. It's not hard to see why so many folks want to visit this area, which is as close to a true wilderness experience you'll find anywhere in Alberta. Mackenzie Creek is also a critical spawning habitat for bull trout, which is considered to be threatened, and the now endangered Athabasca rainbow trout. ATV trails provide access to the creek, and despite a fishing ban since 2000, poachers continue to threaten fish populations. This fishery has been closed since the year 2000 to protect the vulnerable native trout species in the river, like the Athabasca rainbow trout and bull trout. We still do get complaints about illegal fishing in these areas, and in large, these occurrences still go unreported. So I would like to ask people to, if they do see these violations, to call our Report a Poacher line at 1-800-642-3800. This little waterfall is one of the main attractions along the creek, and the only way to view it is to cross the creek and poses a risk to potential spawning beds. Anytime we have a crossing, uh, we, we could have sedimentation anytime a vehicle crosses. Uh, for the most part, that's it's a, it's a point source and it's the trail that's left behind. It creates these, these funnels towards the water and th there's these washouts and it pulls all the sedimentation down to all, all these trail crossings. Uh, sometimes we'll have the trails alongside the creek, which are better, uh, but then we have these big sinkholes that fill full of water and eventually they drain straight down to the creek. And once we get sedimentation in the creek, we have um, issues with uh, so bull trout eggs are in the water over winter, so they could be covered up in sedimentation. It's really harsh to be a fish in the winter because the, the habitat's really limited. Um, we have other things like sedimentation covering up food sources for fish. So that's, that's for all fish, not just bull trout, right? So the main thing about sedimentation, it, it's, it's a cumulative effect, right? So it, it could just, it covers up everything that the fish need to eat or where they need to spawn. It's the two biggest things. What we have here is a section of the existing trail that was created that goes straight up a slope. Normally we like to go at a bit of a transverse. We don't like tra uh, trails to go directly up a slope like this because when the water starts running down it has nowhere to go but straight down to the creek below and as it runs the velocity begins to move sand and gravel particles and eventually you get this significant gully erosion that you see here that will direct all further precipitation down this gully, picking up all this sediment and down into Mackenzie Creek below. While protecting this critical habitat is a top priority, the way ahead is consultation. So we have to work closely with uh, uh, user groups to identify an appropriate crossing uh, and to uh, work with them on what, what would be the best way to get across uh, uh, water courses that are important for uh, fish and fish habitat. You know, if, uh, if, if some segments of trails need to be closed because the risk is too high, uh, I think we uh, would contemplate that and, and maybe reroute. If we do those kind of things, that we work closely first with user groups, consult with them, uh, so they understand what we're trying to do and, and actually trying to encourage responsible stewardship from those groups. You know, a lot of people come out to, to recreate, uh, maybe don't understand the impacts on, uh, on fisheries uh, and the fish habitat. You know, we've got some very, uh, very good partnerships with industry, willing to stay, stand up and contribute. Partnerships in this area include working with forestry. This particular drainage is on the area that we manage on our forest management area, Mackenzie Creek. And we had plans, we have plans still to build a road in there and to do some harvesting in there. And uh, the government knew that. And so they also knew that there was this issue with this existing ATV trail in there and the, the, the damage that it's doing and, and the amount of times it crosses that creek. And they approached us if we would be willing to partner with them in a project to upgrade and relocate those trails. 
And from our point of view, it was like, well, that's a really, that fits really well. That's all integrated resource management. This is a really sensitive drainage, Mackenzie Creek, class A and class B categorization. So important uh, for bull trout and Athabasca rainbow trout. And of course we knew all that. And this project just seemed to make a lot of sense. Another key stakeholder is the OHV community, which is welcoming the development of a new trail system as this is in keeping with the OHVA's philosophy of environmental sustainability. Uh, the McKenzie pr project is one that we've been pushing, is an idea that we've been pushing for a long time, is let's mitigate the constraints, let's identify what the concerns are, and then mitigate those constraints instead of just excluding access. So this is why we're very excited about this project. There's a, there's a perfect stream, there's a perfect example of a crossing that we relocate the trail further down and put a bridge in there. Now we've just keep people wheels out of water. That's exactly what we want, right? So this is a really good project that instead of just come in and said we're going to exclude access, what we're doing is we're actually rerouting and building a, a high scenic. We're using our valuation program and say, hey, this gets to scenic high points. It still gets people on the historical access. Mitigate the concerns and we provide for the recreation and preservation of the environment, right? Developing those new trails in part will be done through the use of a relatively new piece of technology, which can highlight the best possible routes, avoiding areas that might lead to sedimentation. We can now look at trail systems that we know are being used, and we can overlay those over top of the recreational opportunities map and see where the bad spots are. We don't have to take a quad out on a trail and look for them and map them. We can see and predict where they're gonna be. Say you're planning a field day, it helps you to understand, I'm gonna look at these 10 bad spots. I'm not gonna do the whole 80 kilometer trail. It, it helps you to make your time much more efficient. If you're planning a trail system, it helps you to look for where the best ground conditions are. You can put in that hillshade LIDAR and look for where the slopes are, try and find where some viewpoints are and then stay on those ground conditions and and use that to help with your trail routing. What a great way to show people why existing trails in some areas aren't working well. So not only does it help them to understand where best trails could be, where the best ground is for new trails, but it also shows them existing trail systems and where they're going through lots of red, crossing lots of creeks and lots of the marginal yellow areas. That very much can be used as an educational tool to show them this is where you're rutting things up. This is where you're really getting stuck a lot. Here's why. If you were over in these other colors, in the greens, you wouldn't be getting stuck like this. You'd have a much more sustainable trail. Of immediate concern is the prevention of further sedimentation into the creek. To this end, Trout Unlimited Canada was brought in to start the process of trail and stream bank reclamation. Yeah, so this is part of a multi-year project and what we're doing in this phase is just cutting off access to the lower part of Mackenzie Creek. So we're making the trail rough and loose and we're putting in some berms and that has two main objectives. One is to deter motorized traffic from the trail and ultimately the river and the other is to help manage water as it runs off that old trail into some of the creeks and tributaries that feed into Mackenzie Creek. So that'll prevent sediment from entering the, the Mackenzie Creek ultimately. It would appear all the users of this amazing area agree it needs protection. And so far, everyone appears to be on the right trail. Mm -hmm.